Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn. Today, going to show you how to make, well, to implement um, the simple list and then make edits to it uh, with CSS and internally. So, okay, first let's add it. I always get the names of these confused, by the way. So let's go into edit, add section. If you go to people is the easiest place to find it. I've never understood why they organize them this way. Just like tell me the names of them, but whatever. Um, so we have a post about the auto list carousel. This one's for the simple list. You can toggle between these, but this is which one it is. So if you choose this one or just choose any of them and then go to edit content and go to design, you'll see you can uh, toggle between these. I think this, we have a post for all of these now. We have a post on planner slideshow, post on carousel, and now on the simple list. So make sure it's selected on simple list. When you're in here, you can, of course, change, you know, toggle on any of these things you need. I added the button just now. Um, you can add the title and button above, which I never do. I typically just manually add it to a section above. Um, content, this is where you're adding this photo, any of the content you need here, link to the button. Design, um, you can, you know, change the alignment, change if you want content first, uh, how many columns we're showing image crop, let's do a square just for fun, um, et cetera. Jumping into style, this is where you'll need to turn the card on if you wanna use a lot of what I'm gonna show you today. Um, it, a lot of it applies to the card itself. I have some stuff applying to the image, so you're not at a total loss with the C with fun CSS without it. But adding the card gives us um, a lot of like good fun possibilities. So some of it can be used without, but some you'll need the card. You can play around with the padding, uh, whatever you need here. Let's just keep it all consistent. And then if you go back to design, go to size and space, um, this is where you can kind of play around with how things are cropped, the media width, et cetera. Let's make the space between them a little smaller, vertical padding smaller, et cetera. All right, so now we have this set up. If we go into edit section, we can change the background color as usual. I'll change it to this just so we can see what we're doing a little better. All right, so that's set up. First, you can go over into site styles and you can edit from here. So if you go uh, into, they recently, they've been changing this a lot. Um, if you go into colors, we're on darkest one. So go to the page you're on and Let's try to click. Okay, it's working. Sometimes they've been changing a lot. So typically, if you click on what you're looking for, it will populate over here. So you can change like the card background color, um, card description link, button text, all of that here. So like button background, whatever. So you can totally make some built-in edits here as you wish. I would start with this first and then come over into the world of CSS for the other stuff I'll show you. So all of the basic stuff can be done there. This is a pretty good feature from Squarespace, I think. Like you can you can get a pretty good start. Um, the reason I started working with the CSS for this specific one is I'm really, like a lot of the sites I build, I like to do rounded edges and things like that, maybe borders. Um, and so I started playing around with this for that reason and then kind of came up with some other use cases. So I'm just gonna start by slowly pasting over all the stuff. So first, what we would do is add a border to the card. I'm just pasting this over directly from the post itself. So you can see that added a border. You can of course change the color, change the border thickness, all of that. Next, add a border to the image. So the first one is to the card itself. The second one is to the image. You can of course change the thickness, change the color of that one as well. So let's just, for fun, change that. Next, you can round the corners of the card. I do have a couple tips in here. That's why I showed you, you do have to have the card toggled on for this to work. Um, you can see it's rounded the edges. So if that's part of the, your branding for this, the website you're working on, you can totally round the edges. Same with the photo. Um, this will round the edges of the photo. Sometimes I don't like to do both. It just totally depends. Or maybe the edges of the photo, since it's the inner one, need to be rounded slightly less. Maybe that works a little better. And of course, you can always change the thickness, the color, et cetera, as we already talked about. All right, next, these are, I'll tell you why this part's kind of useful. So I won't paste all this in, but 
we have changed the title color, we have changed the description color. Um, those you can do in the site styles. I have this in here because I really like to do it on a single card. And I'll show you that use case in just a second. I'll keep going through with, um, we have something in here to change the bold description color. So that's kind of nice. What I like to do is just a way to make things stand out. So come in here to your content. Let's say I wanted like founder to be bold. Um, and it just looks a little boring because it's all black and the founder doesn't stand out. So I just paste it in here to change the color. I put a tip in here. You can of course add any other CSS. So you could change the font size here um, or the treatment of it. If you wanted it all uppercase, lowercase, et cetera, you can you know, throw any more CSS in here because this is targeting specifically um, a bolded part of the description. All right, next we can change the background color, change the button color. That seems silly because like we can do all that within the settings, of course, but here's how I like to use it. I love to use it on a single card. I did this recently for a client. These, this example here doesn't really apply because we're showing people, but maybe you wanted, I don't know, the CEO to stand out. So here's how to do it. Let's go back. I'm going to grab the CSS for changing the background color. So let's come down here. I like to give myself a little space so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so that changed the background color of everything. Obviously, we don't want to do that. Let's do hmm, just like, I don't know, a light gray to make it slightly different. And then the way you're going to apply it to a single one is to add this little piece. So after this item, do the colon, and I've copied it just because, so I don't um, mistype. And you're just gonna change this number to the one you want, the one in order that you wanna change. So for in this example, we wanna change the first one. So we'll change the first one. Let's do like a dark gray. It's like almost black. In which case, we would need to come in here and then start changing the description colors and all those things. So this is all in the post. So let's say I want to come in here. I'm just pasting it directly over. Say I want to change the description color. Let's change it to white. And I would again need to add this piece. And of course, I put it in the wrong spot. Where do I put this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm like, what is going on? I, guys, this is my first day back from like a two and a half week long vacation. So my brain is fully, fully not working. If you, looks like I don't know what I'm doing. That's because my brain kind of doesn't know what it's doing today. So, all right, there we go. So basically you can add this and apply stuff to only one, which is really fun. So, Again, we would need to do this with all of them. Okay, we want to change the title color. Obviously, I know this is getting a bit redundant. You're kind of getting the point now, but let's just keep that list item. Yeah. Out one, changing that. And then lastly, we would need to do the button. So let me grab that CSS. All right. So we have the button and let's just, again, only apply it. So this, this nth child part is going on um, after the list item. So as you can tell, now one is standing out. Of course, it's, you know, we could change the background to be something different. The white ones really stand out more, but you get the point. So you could really go crazy with this. If you have really fun branding, you could make them like three different colors. I could see this being like pink and yellow and turquoise. If you had a really fun poppy brand, or if you want, just want to stand out or stand out less, you can do something like this. Um, okay. That's it. I hope this was helpful and hope you enjoyed.